Against all odds, next morning I got up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I had my kind, unknown assailants to thank. The beating had taken its toll, but for the first time in months I had slept like a baby. Oh, come on, Helen, focus! All right, take five. We'll work on that double backhand later. Well, Mr. Blackmore, what can I do for the FBI? Actually, the real question is, what don't you want the FBI to do to you? <laughs> Quick to thread, are we? Not that I'm not flattered, mind you, but I'd appreciate if you were a bit less vague. Maybe if we could speak in private? Alec! Coming! You've got four minutes, Mr. Blackmore, so... Make them count. We know about you and Desmond O'Leary. Wow. The FBI sure knows what it's doing. So, out of the 100 million Americans who know about that, who did you extort to get such highly confidential information? The thing is, well... <laughs> you see, I'd love to wipe out that part of my past, but whatever. Do you have any regrets? Ads pay more than trophies. Can you believe it? Being associated with such a shady character could only damage my reputation. Trust me, never get involved with a married man. They say you're currently involved with Al Stone, the boxer. Is that correct? Wow, your sagacity never ceases to amaze me. Don't beat around the bush. We know why you're with him. Oh, so you like his biceps too. Desmond O'Leary asked you to seduce Stone. Why? What? No, I met Al by chance at a party. A party hosted by Desmond O'Leary. No, that can't be. No one is that shrewd. Not even him. Damn, I hate that bastard. We're aware of at least six rigged games during your first year as a professional player. And? You won all of them. <laughs> Are you trying to offend me? I give my all on the court. I can't be held accountable if my rivals don't do the same. Go interrogate them. In any case, now I know why you mentioned O'Leary. What do you really have against him? And don't say illegal gambling. I'm sorry, but I can't reveal that information. I'm serious, Miss Moore. America can't afford to let anyone shake its foundations like that. And America's sweetheart can't afford it either. Help us out. Talk to us. And why should I, Mr. Blackmore? What do I stand to gain or lose? The FBI always returns a favor. Oh yeah? Are they gonna rig my games? This is actually quite simple. One lucky gal. You have a light, sir? Hmm.
pearly white teeth of someone who barely smokes. Am I making her nervous? Damn. I'm almost out of fluid. Want to know my trick? Go down to start, then up with it, and then down again. What? Oh shit. Will I get to smoke today? Thanks. I don't know what you want me to say. You're trying to frame O'Leary, perhaps rightfully so, but I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Believe me. If I had the slightest... Come on, Helen. <sighs> Time to work on your backhand. Let's go. <sighs> Do you smoke? Nice meeting you, Mr. Blackmore. Did you bring my water? That didn't seem very productive. America's sweetheart gave you her cigarette? Dear God, she has the hots for you. I can't believe you said good old weekly to investigate that stupid walrus while you were hanging out with Helen Moore herself. So, what do you say, you and me, we change places next time, huh? Your turn. Now tell me, what did you find out? Ah, you're gonna love this. You ready? I've got news, but I happen to also have a pl uh. Black Sad. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Black Sad. Huh? Oh, Mrs. Colbert. When you told me about my husband, I kicked him out. But this morning, he came back with a bouquet of roses and asked me to forgive him. He said he had some kind of big scare yesterday and that he hasn't stopped thinking about me since. He wants to take me to Niagara Falls on a second honeymoon. And? I threw the roses in his face and I told him to shove Niagara Falls up his ass. You think I could forget what he's done just like that? I don't want to get into anybody's business here, but what if your husband really is sorry? Oh, yeah. No. N no, actually, I'd rather not say anything. All right. But I'm gonna hold you accountable. If that two-timing rhino betrays me, I'll scratch his eyes out and I'll smash his head in. And yours, too. Trying to, uh, turn the rhino to our side there. By some good faith. Uh, but what just happened? Is there anything you didn't tell me? Maybe. But now it's your turn. Tell me about Cassidy. Uh, 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 Come on, spit mm, it out. I, I didn't find anything suggesting that Cassidy had anything to do with Dunn's murder, but... That's quite the tale. But I know Cassidy will be playing poker tonight with one Howard M. Farnham II, a Texas tycoon looking to get his claws on the boxing business. I also know that he and Cassidy have never met in person. And that Farnham, who's staying at the Balford Hotel, hasn't left his room. Apparently, he spent the night with three bottles of bourbon. So, here's my incredible plan. I'll go to the hotel. <laughs> I'd knock him out. Huh. And then take his place in the poker game. That way, I'll get Cassidy talking. What do you think? Incredible, right? Huh? Huh? Uh huh? Didn't we agree that you would handle Helen more while I dealt with Cassidy next time? No? 